Number two, you can do the bravo choke when you are on the bottom, when you play Barfaga, you know? So what I like to do is, when I'm Barfaga, I like to control with double over. I mean, double under, everyone is doing a double under. I like to do double over. So I'm here, and I grab my arms, and I'm pulling and making pressure here. So I'm not allowing him to zip here, because if he's sitting here, he can burn. So if his head is over his hip, he can play his game. He's strong. He can do whatever. But if his head is here, and I'm pushing him leg and pulling him out, he's very um, limited. So what I'm doing from here is, I'm sweeping. I'm here, and I'm sweeping him to this direction. Okay? He don't want to get the mount position, and that's fine for me. Or, maybe, if he's a strong guy, he will catch his base a little bit, come back on his knees, and what up? Here, you get a bravo choke. Again, from this side. You hear? Double over, important is pressure. You can't stay here, I mean, this is not all about like that, but just short, um, you know, this. Here, pull, make pressure. Don't stay there. Keep pressure, pull him up. He's trying to get his base to come up here. And you have the bravo shot from bottom to bottom, okay? Next one, very, very nice way. Um, if you have more soft position, top, you're here. And um, it doesn't matter where your arms are. If you're here, or if you're here, or if you're here, doesn't matter, you know? I like just, you stay here, and the whole, the only thing you need is, maybe you can switch here, you stay here, the only thing you need is, you need to, to bring one arm over, you know? When you have one arm over, you must be here. And then, you have the problem choke. So whenever you are uh, on this position, you hold the this. Either way, switch on side control, this way, and you get the bravo choke, like you did before. Or, you're here, and whatever you push, whatever, just come up over here. And when you're here, you get a bravo choke. Very easy, very efficient. Next one, one of my favorites I really like, is the bravo choke from the bottom, you know, from the side from the bottom. I don't recommend to, to play your game in your defense only with this choke. You should do all the basic escapes and you need to post shirt and everything. But this one is really a surprise and you can catch a lot of guys with it, you know. I did it and it works very, very, very well, okay. So I show you, you can hear side control. It's important to have one arm in posture. So you can hear one arm like this hip and this arm, I, I keep this arm either here or here. It's more safe to keep it here, but then you have a little bit more work. So the next thing I want, I want my head on this side of my knees. So if I'm here, I'm trying to push and come up here. As soon as I come up here and here, I get the bravo shot. See? So most of the time, you're here and you come up here and you push maybe, or you just roll, come up here, and you get it on the choke. Sometimes, when you're uh, working, and you, you want to do that, you know, it's good to keep your leg up here, because um, now you cannot bring his arm back. You know, if you're here and here, and you can get it here, okay? What's also very, very good is, a little bit more risky, but, if he is here and he's going for a Kimura, you know, if your arm is here, you give him the Kimura and you know you see that he's going for it, you have only one chance, you cannot allow him to grab. So as soon as you see he's going for it, you have to straighten out your arm like this. And now it's important to go up here. And finish here. Again, you're here. He's going for a Kimura here, and you give him the chin, now you kick it up. This one comes up here close, here, and you get a bravo shot. What I try to do is, I try to keep my arms very 
close on my body, and I'm playing here. And as soon as I feel that his arm is on, on this side, let's say from the other side, uh, this one, this one. So if you are here, brown shoulder is far away. But you can, you can watch, you can do it. And as soon as he's taking the arm on the other side, trying to control I bring up, sorry, I bring up here my knee. So he's now he's trapped. And now he can't can go back. And here, 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 and get a brown shoulder. These two ways, very, very good to apply from um, cycle or block. Another way to do is mount position, top, you know. Very nice way. You all know I will escape. I will knee escape. You're here, and the guy is turning sideways, making posture, trying to escape. So you see, as soon as he's crossing and he's trying to make posture, come up here, okay? And now, come up here, as we go. So, I'm over and pat. Again, you mount position. You don't want him to, you allow him to do this. You know, you want the brow shot. So you want him to turn, you want him to cross his arms. So he's doing it. So you go here, sorry, here, here. Wait is here, you switch it. And you apply the brow shot from the mount position. Okay, that's all the different ways to get the brow shot. I hope I will have a um, more ways in the future to get the problem show because they're very good to do. And see you next with um, some kind of uh, escapes, counters, follow ups, whatever. Okay, see you soon. Okay, the last thing I want to show you today is how to prevent your opponent from countering it or what you can do um, for countering, uh, for, 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 for counter the counter. You know? um, basically, the best way to defend against the problem show is the, to grab your own pants. So if you're here and um, you try to get uh, a problem show and he is able to grab his pants here, I'm not able to finish you know, simply because I'm not able to count any deeper. So this prevents me from doing it, you know, and it's very difficult to get it when um, he's grabbing his pants. So the first defense against this is you always take care of your legs and his arm. So when I'm here and I go for the bravo choke and I'm here, I pull in and here I'm, I'm tight. So if he tries to get his arm out, I'm very tight here. Come over here. You see, between my arm, my knee and his leg, there's no space. So you can't pull it out. If I would be like here, if I'm here, he's just out. You know, I couldn't choke. I mean, I'm on top, okay, but it's not a choke anymore. That's why it's very important, like I said before. First thing, as soon as you're down, it doesn't matter which position, uh, keep your legs close and work here. You know, when you turn in to this position, you know, it's a little bit more difficult, but still here, you be very careful to keep your body low. You know, so you don't want to do this. You don't want to roll. So you want to stay here and keep your body low because here you can put it back. Try to put it back. No way to put it back. If I allow it to roll, and if I open myself up, he's out. So if you here, I always have to keep here. If we roll, have to roll. I have to take care of my knee here. See. I couldn't allow him to get out. So my legs are very important. That's what I said before. Yes, you can sprawl to get more power, but I wouldn't do it because I want to control his arm from grabbing his pen so he couldn't defend the, the brown show. That's number one, most efficient way, best way, recommended way to do. The next thing is, if I get the brown show, and if I'm a little bit uh, 